Hey everyone, welcome back to another Slime Fun Filled episode with your host Boomer. Today we are going to dive into three different things that we haven't really talked about. One is a long time need for a use for magnesium. Two is a new upgrade to Core Slime Fun. And the third is something that I just love. And so we're going to dive right in. First of all, how many of you have ever played around with magnesium and go, oh my gosh, this is the most wasted, useful, useless item in Slime Fun, right? Everybody knows the magnesium generator was kind of like, eh, because for one, you needed magnesium salt. Well, to get salt and magnesium, run it through the heated pressure chamber to get magnesium salt. But to get salt, you had to manually smash sand into an ore washer. And so other than a couple of minor things, and depending on which add-ons you have, if you don't have Infinity Expansion, you probably have almost no need for magnesium, right? Wrong. We've got you a cheap, quick, massive generating power source that you never would have thought before. Okay, maybe massive is a little bit overdoing it, but if you put quite a few of these together, you've got a great power source. And the one thing we're going to talk about with this magnesium generator is a way to automate salt. There actually is. And I want to show you the machine. You see this thing back here? Whoops, wrong one. There we are. The GeoQuarry. One of the benefits of the GeoQuarry besides getting thorium and, and uh, uranium and a few other things is it gets you salt. I have five of these running in my in my base right now and they're really just going, everything's going to trash because my basic storage unit has over 6,400, whoops, 6,400 items in it already. So I have a non-destructible renewable source. I mean, we can get salt all day long. So all I need to do is set up a couple of heated pressure chambers, right? I've got magnesium up the, you know what, probably like most of you guys do. That's iron, magnesium, uh, right here. No, that's lead. Come on, boomer. There we go, magnesium. I have 3 million magnesium sitting around doing absolutely nothing. In addition to all my magnesium getting turned into ingots into singularities. I think I have six ingot factories dedicated just to that. So, real easy. Set up a couple of heated pressure chambers, right? How'd you get in a house? I didn't invite you. Go back, go home. Thank you. Anyways, you know, when the neighbors drop by without asking, I man, that's just bothersome. So anyways, set up a couple of heated pressure chambers. Do level two so it's a little bit faster. But magnesium in, salt in, boom, magnesium generator. Now you've got some useful power that you can use because magnesium generator does generate 36 joules per, per second. Not bad for a basic generator. Now, if you're in the end and you need to mine something, you know, you can take maybe three of these with you and a couple stacks of magnesium salt and voila, you are set. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Core Slime Fun had a machine added not too long ago. Everybody was talking about when you had to build a dust farm, if you did it old-fashioned way, meaning you went from an ore grinder to a gold pan to a dust washer, that the gold pan and the dust washer had times 10 machines. They had level 3 machines. But the ore grinders only went up to level 2, which was 4 times the speed. So you needed 2.5 as many times ore grinders as you did gold pans. So if you set up a farm with 10 gold pans, you needed 20 to 25 ore grinders to keep up. Because of the speed, the level 3 uh, gold pans would have nothing in them half the time. Well, we have a new tool for you guys. A level 3 ore grinder. That's right. Hopefully a lot of you are already aware of it. Now, the electric ore grinder also goes at 10 times. It has an increased power requiring up to 90 joules. Four reinforced plates, a blistering ingot, and a heating coil. It's not bad. Now, if you happen to have like a hundred of these because you're turning bones into bone meal for uh, Android farms, it's going to cost you a little bit of time getting, you know, 32 reinforced ingots for every one. But we now have a 10 times ore grinder in the game. I'm excited. One last thing I want to show you today. We're going to come outside. 
I was hoping to show you this in the last episode. I just didn't get to it. All right, we're going to leave that there for a reason. How many of you, let's see, what can I afford to lose? Okay, I still have my helicopter hat. Yeah, let's take the helicopter hat off. How many of you have ever been walking along, and all of a sudden you hit your eject button, and boom, your item is in lava, it's gone. Don't worry, I've turned off lava animations. I was playing around with something. Your computer's fine, my computer's fine. I just turned it off for a moment. I was doing something else. Anyways, you throw stuff in lava by accident, and you go, oh gosh, and you probably say something much worse than that, but it's gone, right? Wrong! We've got a new way to help prevent that as well. Let's take, listen. I'll come over to the house for dinner later, okay? I'm at work right now. I need you to go do something else, all right? Thanks. Man, I don't know what he wants, but he sure is, is itching to come over. So, we're going to throw our diamond pick on the ground, and you ready? We are going to launch a fireproof ruin. Bum, ba -dum! Your item is now fireproof. I love this. You ready? Fluffy, I love this thing. Here we go. Whoa. Look at that. Isn't that slick? Not only does it not sink in lava, it doesn't sink when you've got flames going from like underneath a smeltery, but it bounces to draw your attention to where it is. That is so cool. Because now I can see it a lot better than if it were to just sit under lava, even if it didn't disappear. The fact that it's bouncing is just amazing. All right, I'll turn the animations back on. I can hear seven or eight of you going, Come on, turn on your animations for crying out loud. All right, so let's see, lava animated back on. There we go. See, it's working. All right, let's launch it one more time. That is the coolest thing. I love that. Now, when I'm mining in another, I drop something in the lava. Ah, as long as everything's fireproof, not bad. What does it take to make that fireproof run? Let's check it out real quick. Fireproof runs are... Four synthetic emeralds, not too bad. Three obsidian, hey, pretty cheap. All right, another right ingot, understandable, right? Because now the right doesn't burn in lava. And then a fire rune, which you need to make an earth rune and a couple of other basic things working your way back. You can see for the most part, it's relatively inexpensive to make. Synthetic emeralds aren't bad. Synthetic sapphires turned in. So cost-wise, it's not a lot. It might take you a little bit to craft. But I'll tell you, to be able to have this, I'll take that every single day of the week. Three great uh, new plants, not really new, but three different newer features within the game. Uh, some of these uh, are really game changers, especially that fireproof run, the ore grinder, being able to move things at level 10. I'm coming to the barbecue. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, these nosy neighbors. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate everybody who's a part of this channel who's been providing feedback, ideas, suggestions. Also, I wanted to drop something. I didn't know if this was appropriate, but I'm going to put it in the video anyways. Uh, the other day, I was asked to be part of the staff of the official Slime Fun Discord server. Blew me away out of nowhere. I got a biscuit reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested. And I said, oh, hell yeah. And so, guys, I'm uh, officially now a, a staff helper. Uh, so thank you so much again. Uh, I look forward to more comments and feedbacks on what we can do to make this series better to help uh, enhance your understanding of slime fun. And don't forget, when you're playing Minecraft, you've got to go boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later. All right, I'm coming. Let's go to the barbecue already. My gosh. Should we go eat? I'm hungry. Lead the way.